What is this thing? I can hear you all asking. Well, I'm going to tell you. It is the strummer, the rhythm pick. There, um, up in New Hampshire, we go up in New Hampshire uh, every now and then uh, for a little kind of getaway vacation. And there's a little uh, guitar store, music store called the Vintage Fret Shop. Uh, I believe is the name of it. I think it is. Uh, I've only been going up there for like the last, I don't know, 10 years, uh, 12 years, maybe even longer. I don't even know. Uh, long, long time. And pop up there and every time I go up there to New Hampshire, we stop at this place. I stop at this place. Nobody else cares. Uh, but anyway, Vintage Fret Shop, I believe is the name of it. And uh, one year I almost bought a tenor guitar, but they wouldn't budge on the price. Uh, some of the stuff I think is a little overpriced. Uh, just as an example, they have a uh, early 70s, 74, 73, 74 uh, Fender Strat that has a lot of nicks in the body. And then it's been like painted over poorly and uh, a neck break that was repaired poorly. Uh, it's really banged up and I think they're asking way too much. And it's been there now because we just went there uh, last month and I popped in just to see because I was curious. It's now been there for four years. Four years hanging on the wall. But nonetheless, went in and uh, my wife had some cash, but she was in the car, and I actually had like three dollars left in my pocket. And I saw this thing, and it was two ninety nine. And in New Hampshire, there's no sales tax, so two ninety nine. I walked out of there with this thing and a penny. But anyway, uh, it is this like weird little thing, and I think it's made out of mostly like popsicle sticks <laughs> in some like glue and stuff but it's kind of ingenious it has these two screws thumb screws that you just undo and there's this piece in the middle that has two little uh, three little pieces of uh, monofilament like fishing line sticking out and a hole that you, I'm guessing it came with no instructions that you put your finger through like this and now you can strum using these three pieces okay so you end up with I have something in my eye so you end up with good heavens uh, here uh, and I'll play it and you have to listen because it's really quiet I, I wish the little strummy pieces were a lot thicker but anyway you end up with this in, in the, the strummy pieces are like two strings distance. Okay, so you'll see what happens. It goes, so. So they're two strings apart, they're two guitar strings apart. So you end up going like, Kind of, although I didn't do three, but you get the idea. So you start with the one, then the one, then the next one is the third string, uh, well, the fourth string, depending on how you count, but uh, E, A, then it does the D, but it does the E at the same time, then the next two at the same time, then it does these three, then it does these three, then it does these two, then it does this one, then it does this one. So it's pretty funky, but of course, if you're, I'll back up so I'm back in frame, if you're just strumming with it, you don't necessarily hear all that intricacy, although it is there. Uh, but again, I really wish that these were um, more rigid. So I'm thinking I might 
unscrew it and make another insert myself. Uh, but $2.99. And it definitely is going to take a little uh, getting used to on my end, just the technique of it. Uh, there was another one like this that actually had sort of angled, like little kind of pieces sticking out, like angled wings. So instead of just straight, it was like this, this, and this but not that far out, it was like this big or something. Uh, but I'm thinking with the angled ends on it, then it might be a lot easier to strum because the problem is if I hit the side of this thingy, then it just really kind of just goes clunk. So not so good. So it needs, needs a little getting used to the technique of it. Yeah, see right there, I caught. Um, and of course you have to make sure that your left hand, your fretting hand, righty or lefty, your fretting hand is muting out the strings that you don't want. So for like a C chord that I played just a second ago, I'm muting out that low E string so that it doesn't come out. I was just thinking, I wonder what this sounds like on a 12 string. I have an 8 string ukulele. So, oop, bug. So, let's give this a shot. It works a lot better on this, <laughs> uh, and I think it sounds better. It's it's um, brighter. It, it's you know I'm used to. Where that's not so, like in your face bright, but that's definitely uh, a lot more aggressive kind of tone wise. But uh, it's interesting. It works definitely better on this. So uh, the strummer, the strummer, and it's rhythm pick, and it's that's not focusing, and it says rhythmpick.com. I went there to check it out, and I think the website is uh, a little bit. Uh, antiquated, a little bit old. I don't think they're keeping up on things, uh, but you can go check it out. And uh, that's it, the, the Rhythm Pick Strummer.